Hi everyone, so we've got some exciting news for you. We are picking up our ex-racing greyhound today. His name is Widget and we are just about to leave. It's about a half an hour drive from here. So we're gonna go and meet the um, greyhound trust lady at the stadium. Are you excited, Neil? Yes. Oh, it's so exciting. So we have just arrived at the greyhound track. It's very exciting, we're just waiting for Claire to arrive from the Greyhound Trust. So just wait and have for her van to turn up. And then we shall be doing all the paperwork for our boy and getting him in the car and going home. I'm so excited. Hi guys, look, it's Widget. He's here with us. We're so, so excited. We're just leaving the stadium. He's been such a good boy already. Um, so we're gonna get him home and get him straight into the garden and I'm sure we will vlog it for you all. So, yeah, bye. So Widget, now it's just you and me. Oh, battery's flat. See if this will last. If you want, I'll open the door and you can run away, run away from awful clothes that she's gonna make you wear. She's gonna parade you, she is. You're going to be the embarrassment of the bloody neighbourhood. Just say the word and I'll open the door and you'll run away. And that's the phone disconnected. I look like a right weirdo filming in the car park. I, mean, I think the battery's dead. Anyway, she's just pick, gone in to um, pick up chicken steaks and ice cream for dinner. But let's be honest, knowing Steph, it's just going to be dog bones and sardines for the dog. Never mind. There's an entire car park with thousands of spaces, but no, someone has to park next to the guy with a big camera, even though they were staring at me for half an hour. I have to park here while I'm vlogging. Vlogging. And there was two old people. I won't show them because, you know, confidential and all that. It took half an hour to get out of the car and it was just one of those cringy moments where you're like, oh, please don't hit the door. There was a whole, like, military operation still not even the Tesco's now they've only walked five meters down the road but never mind dog and you're lucky you'll be getting dinner we know that oh you are looking pretty cute there and you you're gorgeous 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 chance of chicken steaks zero chance of bonios 100% just say the words I'll open the boot you can run no go. So, why we're here, reasons why Steph is getting a greyhound. It's lazy. See, he pit his head up for five seconds and that was enough. Tired, needed a break. Okay, that's the only reason she's getting a greyhound, <laughs> it's lazy. It's basically the dog equivalent of her. Isn't that right, mate? Yeah, you have no idea. You're about to enter a new league of laziness. I don't know which one will be more lazy. Hmm. Oh well, over and out. He's having some cuddles with daddy over there. Master. <laughs> Master. Daddy, Master Hopkins. He's done a couple of wees and things like that. We've praised him for it outside. He's been in a few times. Um, we haven't given him the run of the whole house just yet, just three rooms. Um, but he's gone in there and he's been exploring and sniffing around and it keeps coming outside. Obviously he feels a little bit safer out here. Oh, he's gonna give you kisses. Yeah. Yeah. Your nose oh, been he's there? sniffing you. Been in your bum. <laughs> so I'll just kind of ease him into it today and we'll do some, some points where we just leave him as well and 
and see how he gets on with that but we're really excited to get him feeling like he's at home he's settling in all right he's already found my iced coffee So lovely, yeah. yeah. So lovely, and you're gonna get so many cuddles and walks, and oh, good boy. Just wanted to give you an update on how Widget's been getting on. So he's been doing a lot of pacing up and down, but that's normal, that's expected. He's stressed. Um, he's experienced the garden, we took him for a walk. He's had a lot of love and he started eating a pig's ear as well. Um, he's yet to find his bed and yet to get on the couch, but all comes with time. But not sure what he's doing now but I think he's just pacing back and forth but um really enjoying having him so far this 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 is what Steph now refers to as a double bagger I'll let you guess what's in there it's going down our lot we set a camera off in the kitchen and we're on FaceTime with him but our, <laughs> our things muted so he can't hear us but we can hear him and we can see him he's had some water he's pacing up and down quite a bit He's coming to the door. Why have we left? Why are we so cruel and left on my own? Separation anxiety. Yeah. He's looking around. How are we dealing with our separation anxiety? I look that good. <laughs> How's the dog dealing with it? I think he can hear you though. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. There's a cat. Can see what he makes a cat in a minute. Good boy. Haven't seen it yet. He's talking about he's going to see it way before boy. us. Oh, now he's seen it. Did yeah. He just get ready to grab his collar. No, I can't. I've got a 400 pound camera. Good boy. Hey, we're on our oh my second God, walk. This doesn't work, you're far too short. Me? Yeah. We're out on our second walk with Widget. Definitely needs to do some lead training with him, but he's just a bit anxious of everything and everyone, so I think he's kind of a bit like, oh, oh, why is that? Kind of on the leads, but we'll train Plus, that out of him. As have we found, you're far too short and I'm far too tall. Uh, yeah, I'm far too short, nearly far too tall. I'm in frame. You're in frame. I'm in frame. To walk like this. <laughs> so hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a little update post this video. So we are on day five currently of having Widget in the house. He is so much more settled than he was in the video. Um, he has gone in all the rooms downstairs. He knows where his bed is. He's been going on his bed a lot more and has also been napping a lot more during the day as well, um, which is really good. It's allowed us to do some of the housework and things like that than he's doing. Um, on his walks, he's loving his walks at the moment. He's getting two a day, if not three. Um, which is really good because it helps him settle at night a little bit better. But his walking on the lead has improved every day. It's getting better. He's getting more confidence, um, especially when meeting other dogs and people as well. He's much more confident. Um, his tail has been wagging more often. And when he greets me in the morning, this morning it was with a jump up for the first time. Um, but greeting me with a waggy tail, really happy to see me. 
He's less reactive to noises in the house, so noises such as creaking, um, cars driving past, the dishwasher on, stuff like that. Before, he would be really unsettled by those noises, but now he's just kind of sleeping through them. We're getting on with his crate training. He was absolutely terrified of his crate before, and he hasn't been in it um, yet by himself. But we've been training him with little bits of chicken and things and just praising him for putting one foot in and then praising for two feet in. And he's gone in and stayed in for 10 or so seconds with treats coming at him. And yesterday, for the first time, he kind of half went into his crate on his own, which was really good to see. So we're going to keep um, progressing with that. And hopefully he will um, be able to go into his crate on his own and enjoy that space. He has had no accidents in the house. He's been going out in the garden and on walks, which is amazing. And yeah, that's about it for now. Like I said, we're on day five, so we still got a long way to go until he fully settles, but we're enjoying our time with him. So look out for the next video. Bye, guys.